Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, this is question number four from the Solomon F collection of C2, um, which has now become P2. So this is um, under my P2 endotopic worksheet, number four of binomial expansion. Question number six from my worksheet. Question number four from the Solomon F collection. So here we have to expand 2 plus y to the power of 6 in ascending powers of y as far as the term in y cubed, simplifying each coefficient. So something like this, the easiest way to deal with it in um, P2 work is to just use our NCR method. So you start off by, I mean, I always start off with my, there's how many terms we're we going to have? In y cubed, so this is going to be the this is going to be the uh, y to the power of zero term. This is going to be the y to the power of one term. This will be y to the power of two term, and then you're going to have y to the power of three term down here. Okay, so you're going to have um, n c r. So you're going to have n, which is a power, and you're going to have start with zero. Then you're going to have the same power six, and it's going to keep going up by one, six, two, and six, three, and your second little bracket here will contain the term which is that, that two here so you'll have two in that in that bracket and the second bracket here you're going to have the term which is in this position which is the y so you're going to have the y here now you have to raise these two powers um, and the powers must add up to the number here the six so all of the powers have to add up to six and we want to have ascending powers of y so i'm going to start with y with the lowest power zero and it's going to increase so it's one zero one two and three and this is going to start um, with the um, highest power which is going to be six let's have to add up to six so you're going to start with six and you go down six five four and this will end up as three as well okay three plus three is six so now we can just use our ncr button on a calculator well uh, you know anything c zero is going to give us one so this is going to be one times two to the power of six times y to the power of zero which is just one and this is going to give me six c1 well six c1 is six and you got two to the power of five which is going to be 32 actually times one so that'll be 64 actually so i can write it afterwards six c2 so we can take our calculator and we can take our button we can do six shift c2 okay and that gives us the coefficient in this place which is 15 so that's 15 times 2 to the power 4 times um, sorry this is not 1 here this is y sorry about that's y to the power of 1 which is y and this is y to the power of 2 which is y squared okay that should have been a y there of course y to the power of 1 is y and here you're going to have 6c3 so you just change this 2 for a 3 6c3 gives you 20 so you're going to have 20 times 2 to the power of 3 times y cubed so this gives you 2 to the power of 6 which is 64 and this gives you 6 times 32 so 6 times 2 to the power of 5 6 times 32 which is 192 times y and this gives us 15 times 16 15 times 2 to the power of 15 times 2 to the power of 4 that's 15 times 16 which gives us 240 y squared and then finally you're going to have two, 20 times 8 which is going to be 160 times y cubed 20 times 2 cubed 20 times 8 so in the end we can say our expansion of 2 plus y to the power of 6 so you have 2 plus y to the power of 6 is equal to 64 plus 192 y plus 240y squared plus 160y cubed and there's the answer for part a okay then it says for part b it says hence expand 2 plus x minus x squared to the power of 6 now whenever you see the word hence that means there's going to be some connection with the question that came before it so if we look at what came before it we have 2 plus y to the power of 6 and here we have, so here we have 2 plus x minus x squared to the power of 6. And here we have 2 plus y to the power of 6. So we can see almost that what's happened here is that these are almost the same. We've got 2, you've got power of 6, those are the same. Okay, 
So that means if I can think of these as being the same as each other, then I can think of using this pattern to expand this. So if I say, let me say, let's call y x minus x squared. Okay. And if I take my 2 plus, I'll put it in a little bracket like this, x minus x squared. Okay. And I put it inside this expansion, 64 plus. Instead of writing y, I can replace the y with x minus x squared. And the same with the next. Instead of writing y, I can replace it with x minus x squared. And that will be y squared. So it's x minus x squared all squared. And similarly, I have 160y cubed. Instead of y, I can replace it with x minus x squared. And that will be cubed. And we want to find the expansion up to and as far as the term in x cubed. That's as far as I need to go, up to x cubed. Okay, this is actually... Excuse me, this is actually Solomon F now. I can ignore that anyway. That's supposed to say Solomon F, don't worry. I'm sure nobody would have noticed anyway, but that's Solomon F. Anyway, so now uh, what we need to do here is um, just expand this and just extract all the x cubed terms from this. So we don't want anything more than x cubed. So you've got your 64. That's fine. And you've got 192x. That's fine. And you've got minus 192x squared. That's also fine. Then you're going to have to expand this bracket here. So you have plus 240 times. Let me just expand this bracket. So you're going to have uh, you square. Uh, you, when you square a bracket, a binomial, you can square the first term. That gives you x squared. And then you multiply these two terms together. So you're going to get minus. And you're going to multiply them together and double them. So it'll be minus 2x cubed. Okay. And then you're going to have to square the last term. It will give me plus x to the power 4. And then for the last term, you have 160 times. Now, if you think about this this last term, I don't actually need to do anything uh, like expand it because the only term that's going to be x cubed is the first term. The rest of the terms are going to be more than x cubed. You're going to have x minus x squared times x minus x squared times x minus x squared. So you're going to get this, basically, this times x minus x squared. So every single term will be more than x cubed except for the first term. You'll have x squared times x, and then you have x, term, x squared times x cubed. So it will be out of, uh, you know, it will be basically outside of the, you know, it will be x squared times um, x squared, sorry, which will give you x to the power 4. So x cubed is the highest this will, will ever, um, x cubed will be the, the, the only x cubed term will be this. Everything else will be higher than, than x cubed, and we only need terms up to x cubed. So there's no need for me to go expanding all of this. I won't need any of the rest of them. Okay, so I'm just going to write x cubed and the rest I'll put dot dot dot, not needed because we only need to go up to x cubed. So now if I extract from here all the x cubed terms, again I've got these already done, 64 plus 192x minus 192x squared plus 240x squared. You're going to have minus 480x cubed. I don't need the next term because that's x to the power 4, so I can ignore it. And I've got 160x cubed. And I don't need, of course, the rest of those terms. I've just extracted now just the x, the terms up to and including x cubed. So we want to write it in um, ascending powers of x. So let's start with the constant x term. There's just one x term, which is what we've got there, 192x. x squared term, we've got these two. So we've got 240 minus 192 that gives us 48 so it's plus 48 x squared and then we got the x cubed terms which is minus 480 so minus 480 plus 160 whoops minus 480 plus 160 okay and that gives us minus 320 so minus 320x cubed, and that's as far as we need to go. And there we have the answer to part B. Okay, so you're just using the expansion from part A and replacing the y with what is kind of in this, you can almost say in the place of y. All right, so it's like the identical apart from that. So you can say, let's call y x minus x squared and place it inside this expansion and you've got the answer. That's when it says, hence, you must use what you did before, not just start it all over again. 
All right, so there we have the answer to part B of question number um, six from the Solomon F from the Solomon F paper. Oh, sorry, question four from the Solomon F paper, and question six from my end of topic worksheet on binomial expansion from P two. Thank you for watching. Other questions from the Solomon F paper as I compile them will come in this um, playlist over here. You'll find a playlist on this side for binomial expansion questions in general. Um, I'll give a playlist here for my end of topic worksheet. Subscribe to my channel um, from this link and at the top of the page here you can find a P2 paper you might be interested in watching. Thank you for watching and see you soon.